Hi! Hi, Busy Bees! Welcome to another episode of Storytime with Ms. B. That's me. We have a wonderful story for you today. We have a story about a little girl who wants to make the most magnificent thing. The most magnificent thing ever. She has it in her mind with how she wants it to look and everything. But can she find all the things she needs to make the most magnificent thing? Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> the Most Magnificent Thing by Ashley Spires. Look at that. Ooh, she has her plans and everything in her little dog. And here's the title page. Wonderful. Ooh, this is so good. Here we go. This is a regular girl and her best friend in the whole wide world. They do all kinds of things together. They race, they eat, they explore, they relax. She makes things. He unmakes things. One day, the girl has a wonderful idea. She is going to make the most magnificent thing. <laughs> she knows just how it will look. She knows just how it will work. All she has to do is make it. And she makes things all the time. Easy peasy. First, she hires an assistant. Next, they gather their supplies. They set up somewhere out of the way and get to work. <laughs> Look at the neighborhood she lives in. Is she really out of the way? She thinks she's out of the way. Her neighbors might feel differently. The girl tinkers and hammers and measures while her assistant pounces and growls and chews. When she is finished, she steps back to admire her work. She walks around one side. Her assistant examines the other side. It doesn't look right. Her assistant picks it up and gives it a shake. It doesn't feel right either. They are shocked to discover that the thing isn't magnificent or good. It isn't even kind of, sort of okay. It is all wrong. The girl tosses it aside and gives it another go. She smooths and wrenches and fiddles. Her assistant circles and tugs and wags. When she is finished, she stands up and takes a long look at it. Her assistant gives it a nudge with his paw. The thing is still wrong. She decides to try again. The girl saws and glues and adjusts. She stands and examines and stares. She twists and tweaks and fastens. She fixes and straightens and studies. Wow. She tries all different ways to make it better. She makes it square, she makes it round, she gives it legs, she adds antennae. Oh, Miss P. She makes it fuzzy, she makes it long, short, rough, smooth, big, small. One even smells of stinky cheese. Oh, but none of them are magnificent. Her hard work attracts a few admirers. They don't understand. They can't see the magnificent 
thing that she has in her mind. She gets mad. Mm. Mm. The angrier she gets, the faster she works. She smashes pieces into shapes. She jams parts together. She pummels the little bits in. Her hands feel too big to work, and her brain is too full of all the not right things. If only the thing would just work. Crunch. The pain starts in her finger. It rushes up to her brain. And she explodes. It's not her finest moment. No good at this. I quit. Her assistant suggests a walk. Maybe that'll help. It's not much help at first. But before long, she starts to feel different. Bit by bit, the mad gets pushed out of her head. As they stroll along, she comes across the first wrong thing she made. The bad feelings are about to start all over again. Then... She notices something surprising. There are some parts of the wrong things that are really quite right. The bolts on one, the shape of another, the wheel to seat ratio of the next. There are all sorts of parts that she likes. By the time she reaches the end of the trail, she finally knows how to make the thing magnificent. She gets to work. She works carefully and slowly, tinkering, hammering, twisting, fiddling, gluing, painting. Her assistant makes sure there are no distractions. This is the perfect thing to ward off bears. This will stop that leak. This one's all wet. The afternoon fades into evening. Finally, she finishes. She alerts her assistant. Her neighbors see some parts that might be able to help them with some things. I think her assistant is all pooped out. <laughs> The pair take a good, long look. It leans a little to the left, and it's a bit heavier than expected. The color could use a bit of work, too. But it's just what she wanted. They climb aboard, and they take it for a spin. They are not disappointed. It really is the most Magnificent thing. The end. <gasps> Wasn't that wonderful? Give yourselves a round of applause. I love that story because she was getting so frustrated. And sometimes it's hard. You think you see in your mind what you want. And then when you try to put it on paper, or when you try to build it, 
it can get frustrating sometimes. So sometimes you may have to step back, take a walk. And like the little girl in story did, she took a walk with her dog. She went to go get a cookie. She calmed down. And then she was able to work slowly, calmly, to bring the most magnificent thing she had in her mind to life. And everything worked out. I hope you enjoyed that story. Stay tuned for the next episode on Storytime with Ms. B. And we'll have another fascinating story or some literacy skills to learn. Remember, reading is fun. It's an adventure. I love you. And remember, pay attention. Follow directions. Listen to your teachers and parents. That's how busy bees do it. All right, all right. See you next time.